Coach is absolutely killing it right now with their handbag styles and I have two new bags to show you. Hi loves and welcome back to my channel. We are here in my new cloth office we have moved and I'm filming with natural light so let me know if you like it or not. And I have to tell you I think just a refresh of my space with this new natural light has brought a new energy and excitement back into adding new things to my wardrobe and changing it up a bit. I finally got a coach bag I have had my eye on for a while. I actually used to have the bag and I sold it because I didn't like the color and how it was going with my wardrobe and the colors this season, they're perfection. I'm working with Farfetch over on TikTok, so I have a code for new customers. It's Morgan BB for 10% off your order. T's and C's apply. They'll be down in the description for you. I'm gonna get into the features of each bag, what fits inside both of them, how to style both of them, and my buying advice for each bag. And then for the bag that I have had previously and now I've rebought, I'm gonna give you like the pros and cons to that style. So let's get into showing you my two new coach bags. The first bag I wanna share with you is the Coach Tabby. This is the classic 26 size of the regular tabby. I previously had this bag with a like pink leather border and it had the brown monogram in the middle. You guys know me, I just don't wear brown, so this color is so much more suitable to my wardrobe. Here is the bag up close. What I love about it is it has a pocket that runs the length of the bag. When you open up the bag, it is a snap closure. You have a slip pocket in the front. Now that I've removed the packaging, you can see it better. You have two main pockets. You have a zip pocket in the middle. You have this slip pocket here and a slip pocket here. And you just have the little authenticity plaque back here. I got this bag in the Mall of the Emirates store. It was a Valentine's gift from my love. So because I got it in the store, it comes with the classic coach little hang tag, but you can get the hot stamping and I put my initials on the back and a little unicorn. So they have like different emojis you can choose from. It comes with the shoulder strap. And it also comes with a longer crossbody strap that is adjustable. The hardware on this one is silver. I really feel the tabby is gonna be one of those classic iconic coach bags that just stands the test of time. I first started getting into designer bags. I was probably around like middle school age when I got my first coach bag and I still have a lot of my coach bags today. Their leather just really stands the test of time. It's one of the best buys in their collection right now. And the reason why I jumped on this color, they also have a beautiful purple and I was going back and forth is because I have to show you, it is almost an exact match for my 20A Coco Handle. There is a slight difference, but every outfit that I wear this bag with, I can wear with this bag. And I love that for travel. In terms of like pros and cons, there are definitely more pros than cons to this bag. I mean, the versatility of use is the biggest thing. You have those different straps. You get more pockets and organization in here. So, it really actually gives you more room than a medium classic flap because you can fit your phone on the back. I love that for easy access. The price for the quality really can't be beat. Like Coach is so well priced for the quality that you get. You don't have to spend thousands on a Coach and the bag will still last decades. Also a super timeless style. Whatever your style, there is a style of tabby. There's the pillow style if you have a more funky style and you want something a little more out there. Even though I feel the pillow bag is a trend, and the pillow tabby is, because it's so linked to the classic style of the tabby, I think you can get away with that even after the pillow trend dies down. So with a coach bag, I feel much more safe and secure traveling than I do with Chanel bags because Chanel keeps increasing their price. So even though most of my bags, I pay thousands less than what they're currently worth, because they keep going up in value and they hold their value resale, it puts a bigger and bigger target on my back when I travel. I like to wander around a city. I don't have to really worry about that with a coach bag. That's why I really love to have bags at this price point. I know that this is gonna be something that I will get so much use out of that it doesn't matter that I have the same color in my wardrobe, which I try not to duplicate the exact same color. Now for the cons of this bag, I have put both straps on just so you can see. It's loud. I highly suggest, and how I used to carry my other one is one strap only, and I typically also remove 
this little tag as well. I just don't like so many things hanging on my bag. I don't like so much sound, but it significantly does reduce if you just remove one strap at least. Like, and something, I'm not sure if it'll be a pro or a con. I think it depends on how you like the inside of your bag. If you want unobstructed space in your bag, the pockets could be a hindrance. You wanna do the what fits inside that it still works for me. So you kind of have to weigh what you carry if the pockets are too much for you or great organization. One thing I will say that's a big con to this bag is the lining. I just don't like red, burgundy kind of colors. Why, why is this not beige? So from like a design perspective, those are really the only cons in terms of like use I find it super easy to use, so I didn't really find any cons when I had my other one. Last con I wanna talk about with this bag, people love to give their opinions about coach bags. Not in everyone loves it, it's not in everyone hates it, but everyone does have an opinion about coach. It's been around so long, I don't ever buy or recommend bags based on the status it gives. So I know some people care about that in life, so that's why I'm mentioning it, because it's something I've particularly noticed with coach bags. You just have to have the confidence in your own choice. So now I'll show you the second coach bag I've recently added to my wardrobe. I actually got the tabby. I was looking for this bag as well. It was gonna be a pick up both in store because I'm obsessed with both. The collection is so good right now, but it was sold out in Dubai. Actually, I was able to find this cute Demi reissue of the 2003 collection bag on Farfetch. This bag comes in four or five colors, I believe. I was torn between this and the pink, and I loved this because I have been looking for a denim bag for a long time. This isn't technically denim, it's described as their jacquard logo weave, but it looks like denim. Let me show you the bag before I ramble on. Almost like a toiletry bag style with a shoulder strap. It has a front zip pocket. It has the classic tags. It's a limited re-edition of the 2003 collection. It's slightly adjustable here and here. So depending on your height or if you're wearing a bulky coat or something, you can kind of adjust it to put it on your arm. You have the top zip here and opening it up, it's just a big pocket and you have a zip pocket in the back. I absolutely love that they did gold hardware with this. I have used this a few times already. It is very spacious and roomy. This is also gonna be another one that I take on my summer trips with me. Also very comfortable to wear because it's a bit squishy. So depending on how much you fill it, it, it it's just an easy bag to wear. I've packed the tabby completely full. We'll start here. The phone case fits in the back. I'm filming on my phone. Now if I open up the inside, I didn't put like little receipts and things like that, but like these pockets, you can put receipts, maybe a little pin. Here is how the bag looks. I have a lipstick, my small compact zippy wallet, a pack of tissues, mini pochette with like keys, small little bits, and a powder compact. So that's really what fits comfortably in the tabby. So this is what comfortably fits in the Demi bag. We have our powder compact, pack of tissues, my zippy wallet, phone fits on the inside, lipstick. I could also fit my Tangle Teaser portable brush. This would not fit in the tabby because it's a little too fat. If you have a slimmer brush, it will fit. And my mini pochette. But now let's get into my buying advice. If you're based in Dubai, if you get your coach bags on Farfetch, the duties are included when the item ships to you. And this price that I got this bag for on Farfetch was better than the price in the coach store in Dubai. I could have actually spent a little bit less on this if I would have bought it through Farfetch. So especially if you're in Dubai, definitely go through Farfetch to get your coach. And don't forget to use my code because that'll make the price even better. Coach outside of the US is more expensive than it is in the US. And it's quite a large difference. I believe in the US, this bag retails for $450 plus tax, but you cannot order from the US Coach website and then ship it over here. Now I'll show you what the bags look like on. First, we'll go with the tabby. The tabby can be worn with the shoulder strap. It's very comfortable to fit under the arm. It's a slim design. You can also hang the bag on the crook of your arm from the short strap. That's also an option for ease of use. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't recommend both straps together, but here's how it looks with both straps. You can put the crossbody on and let the smaller one hang, or you can put the shoulder thing on and let the crossbody hang. 
I think it makes the bag look messy, so I would recommend choosing one or the other. And here's how it looks with the crossbody strap. I am five foot six inches tall for reference and I wear about a US size six. And also completely remove all the straps and use it as an underarm clutch. Dimmy bag is a little bit more simple of a design. So it's mostly designed to wear on your shoulder. You can put it on the crook of your arm or hold it in the hand. For the most part, you're just gonna be wearing this bag on the shoulder. Something you can do with this bag too is completely remove the top strap and use it actually as like a travel pouch in a bigger bag. Of course, you're gonna still have the hardware hanging on it, so it's not technically designed for that, but if you want your bag to do kind of double duty or have another function, you can use it. You guys really love that I gave styling options the last time I did a handbag unboxing. So I wanted to do that section again to give you some inspiration on how you can wear both of these bags. Let's start with the tabby. Tabby looks amazing, dressed up, dressed down. So I just paired it with this purple blouse, denims, and some white sneakers to show you how easy this is to just throw on and go. The second look I have is my favorite Zimmerman dress. Love to style this dress with my 20A Coco handle. So I wanted to show you how it looked with the tabby. Here it is with the Coco handle as well, so you can kind of compare the two. The tabby still gives this look an elegant and dressy vibe. You can do any type of printed dress, and if it has the same type of pink in it, the tabby will just make that pink pop more. And then the last look I wanted to show is kind of like that summer classic look for me, just a beautiful printed dress, a sandal, throw the tabby on, finish off the outfit. This is probably how you're gonna see me style it most in the summer, are these just casual, easygoing dresses with either sneakers or sandals. It's a very easy, versatile way to wear this bag. The Dimmy bag is one of those that I feel is very close to pairing like a black bag with anything because it pairs so easily with denim. I'm not even gonna show you that because obviously you can easily wear with jeans. I would say one of my favorite ways to wear this is pairing it with white. I think a white linen dress or a white linen top and trouser look so chic with this bag. And you can just do a summer sandal and you're good to go. Like you look put together, but your bag is casual and like relaxed. Second look that I just love with this bag, the casual short suit look. The key here I think is the sneakers in the bag giving the suit a more casual daily look vibe. The third way I would style this is a little bit more of a preppy style. I think because maybe it's just because it's so nostalgic and like because I got coach around like my middle school. I love how this looks with just a clean Ralph Lauren button down shirt and a tennis skirt and add like a simple white sneaker. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know which bag is your favorite in the comments. And don't forget I have all my details below if you wanna get 10% off either of these bags through Farfetch. Make sure to follow me on TikTok, see how I style my bags, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.